Hello friends, this is Growl, and welcome to Waffle Cat Weekly number 50. The video where we open all of our vaults, talk about the week's affixes, and make excuses as to why we don't make YouTube videos anymore. Hopefully, we have some coming this week, but, you know, it is. had actually a couple weeks of pushing some keys, um, having some fun, actually working our way up the ladder, so excited about that. Our alts are slowly coming in. They have some decent gear if we decide to play them. Although, spoiler alert, I don't know if this is a week that you're going to be wanting to play alt healers much. Anyway, here we go. Here's our first vault on our paladin. I believe this is only one singular box. We have a 421 helm with a socket, which certainly beats out our previous helm. So, uh... Yeah, we will definitely go tier this. Nice little start. Unfortunately, our Paladin is still desperately searching for a weapon. We've been sitting on an M0 weapon for the entire season, as well as M0 trinkets. So, that, uh, that's been holding us back a little bit. We're still able to heal 20s, like, reasonably comfortably on that guy, but... Um, fortunately, maybe, maybe we could craft one. Oh well. I don't know if our paladin will ever come out of hiding anyway. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't know if I have any raid lockouts this week. Um, recently I've been pugging like 2 of 8, but I don't think I've done that at all this week. Uh, a little bit of a blur the last few days. Been doing lots of keys, lots of other stuff. Either way, I believe this is only a one box as well. I think it's a one box on every alt. Okay, so we have a 421 offhand. That's crit haste. I think I'm going to yoink this. Um, I can't quite use it yet, but our staff is very mastery heavy, so we lose some damage there. And if we ever get a 421 off or a main hand, that'll be nice. All right, so a future possible upgrade for our priest. Coming onto our monk. Really, the big loot. The big loot this week is our evoker again. We finally have the chance to bring our evoker to mythic raid, so we're collecting the secret mythic pieces of Zodia, Infinity Stones, in order to be able to play our guy in high keys. Miss Weaver, four hundred nine. I have my Ruby Whelp Shell trained to haste. He's uh, he's getting there. He does a little bit of damage. Prodigy's on the come up. Prodigy can heal some keys. 421 chest and unfortunately we already have a 421 chest uh, maybe if that was avoidance or leech I would keep this but I will not uh, pass up on two tokens for indestructible you will take those on to the next one so besides our Druid Evoker. Our Shaman's actually been our most geared alt. Our Shaman is getting huge. We have pretty much everything we need. You could use uh, maybe some new trinkets. I don't know how good these trinkets are. Uh, other than that, just some random eye level upgrades. Let's see what we got. We're already 417. Spalders of Wild Growth. Hmm. We can tier these and get three item levels. Uh... Yeah, but we're not even close to a socket either. So it's not like I can take this and get a socket. So I think I'm just going to take this. Looks like another item level upgrade. Very small one, but it is what it is. Guess I should probably take this quest, huh? Alright, on my druid. I believe my druid is a lonely one box. I think he's basically an alt at this point. Not so much that, more so that I just have everything that I want on that guy, so... Maybe a few raid pieces, but not worth taking over my evoker. Yeah, 419. Yeah, I don't know if I would call this an alt. Could use a few item level upgrades, but... Not worth spamming out M+. For trinkets, uh, I guess I could go in DPS spec. Mainly just to get a 421 feather, I guess. There's not really any healing trinkets that I would want. I could go Feral spec. 
Jordan skin leggings, and this is an upgrade. Okay, so we actually, on like four different characters, we just have items that we can tear up and upgrade. Not gonna complain about this, especially on my Druid. Hard enough to get upgrades on this guy. And now we go on our Evoker. There's several items we need here. And there is also a chance that we wait until the uh, raid before we select. Every item we need is from the raid. Things we need are a mythic incarnate icon. We need very badly a mythic staff. As, and a mythic uh, diurna's ring. The fire ring. All those three would be pretty good upgrades. Um, yeah, so that's that. We do have six boxes we should get. I think I'm going to open on preservation. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter too much, right? Preservation can still get the staff. Let me, let me just double check this just to make sure. I'm almost positive that it can. Broodkeeper, loot, preservation. Yeah, so preservation can still get the staff. So we will... Uh, Go for it. Rage. Need the staff. I see a staff, but that's not. Oh no! What is? What are these items? Wake detecting seismo staff. No! 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 no. Four fifteen pants. 415 cape 421 crit mastery cape 421 belt but i have my well-fed thing on there 421 gloves oh no this is a so this is a socket angle i think we socketed that yeah this is a socket angle again really really hate to see it Oh, well, hopefully, hopefully from our normal raid clear, we'll get it. But that's two weeks in a row where we, well, we did get a good vault on our um, evoker last week, but two weeks in a row that we haven't gotten a single thing we need from raid. And then now we have a uh, vault that's empty. Feels bad. Let's, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, the socket probably use this before i forget socketing this helm sounds kind of nice I'm trying to think of what i would want to socket i don't want to socket this a normal ring or i mean a heroic ring um or i could socket the belt i guess too grab one of these manipulators I'm trying to think of what i'm more likely to not replace let's socket belt We can throw another one of these in there. Bam. All right. Well, it is what it is. Now for the actual bad news. Let's look at the affixes. The affixes are tyrannical, bursting, grievous, thundering. A little scary. Definitely a little bit scary. So here's what I'll say. So one thing about affixes, the way I like to describe affixes is off of two different mediums. There's fast and slow affixes, and there are hard and easy affixes. A lot of people only think about hard and easy, but the higher up in keys that you get, the more important, you know, whether an affix is fast or slow is. And one thing that's redeeming about Bursting Grievous is that it's very, very fast. It does cost you a little bit of healer damage. Uh, maybe you slow down a little bit because of Bursting, but I mean, that's almost negligible. Compared to something like Sanguine, which could full heal a mob, you know, potentially do millions of HP, this is actually a pretty fast week to do. So, if you're at the point where you want to push this week and you, you're looking to get score, I definitely think it's possible. And it's actually, you know, if you're a strong healer player, you can actually kind of carry this week and get quite a lot of points. The problem is, if you've been pushing a ton already and your tyrannical score is sort of up against the wall where, you know, there are really tough bosses that you have to fight, 
Dealing with them on Grievous is going to make things really, really tough. Like, for example, we've been finally, you know, doing some real keys here. And I have mostly 25s and 26s timed. So the thought of doing 26 Jade Serpent, 26 Ruby Life Pools on Tyrannical, like on the first boss, like, I just, I feel like these bosses just might not be killable, at least with my tiny brain. You know, 26 Tyrannical, Grievous, Herja. I just don't know so I think this might be this might be one of the first weeks off for me um obviously I'm probably gonna get bored in two days and start playing again but for now I think I'm just gonna chillax hopefully this is a good excuse to uh, get some much needed YouTube videos set up and uploaded and made but uh, don't let that discourage you too much like I said you know uh, we've been pushing keys and you know the uh, scores the keys that we need for score are much, much higher than most people's. So if you're still working your way up the ladder, all these bosses are pretty reasonable to heal, uh, you know, in lower versions. Because it's only really grievous, right? Bursting doesn't affect bosses too much. So that wraps up that. I would say that regardless of, uh, you know, how Giga Chad you are, I'd highly recommend aiming for some higher HPS talents this week. Um, don't be afraid to sacrifice some damage just to get a little bit of extra healing just to be able to deal through this You know, this might be a week where I'm not running life force mender and life givers or maybe only one point and trying to make my way down to Renewing breath or something like that, too um, And then of course on tyrannical if you're ever worried about one shots Don't forget things like the stamina increase magic damage reduction the shield from rescue There's lots of tools like this in every single healers uh, regular tree so don't count those out but yeah all right the weekly quest is um one of them is pet battles one of them is world quests i think i don't know how there's two maybe maybe only pet battles but either way nothing super exciting i think that wraps up the vid we unfortunately got some small upgrades on guys that we didn't really care about and we missed the big one but that's okay we'll be clearing raid and hopefully we'll find some loot soon thanks for watching friends good luck in your vaults happy king